Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Find a thing you like. Try to find a thing that you really enjoy. Try to find a thing that you're passionate about. Find something. Find a thing that you genuinely enjoy because getting good at things you genuinely enjoy is extremely beneficial for young people. Doing things that are difficult is find your own human potential in the difficulty of the task. Challenged mentally and challenged physically. One of the great things about being challenged physically is it's also mental. Find some difficult shit to do, because that gets away a lot of the anxiety that you carry around in your body. A lot of like difficult things make regular life less difficult. Because when you do things that are physically difficult, the strain of making yourself do those things, it's very valuable. Through time and effort, you build a stronger human. You build a stronger body, you build a stronger mind, you build accomplishments and will and momentum. You're gonna have to figure it out, one foot in front of the other. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to find a thing and keep working at it and get better at it. That's one of the things that I like so much about martial arts. They let anybody in. And then from that, from learning how to do that, you get better, and then you realize, I might get better at anything. But if you could just find a thing and work hard at that thing, you realize through that thing that you can be good at anything with time and effort. Your ambition, if you have any sense, is actually to become competent. Do you want to be competent and dangerous, or do you want to be vague and useless? It is definitely the case that there is no more exceptional form of the capacity to be dangerous than to be articulate. Every advantage comes with a disadvantage. So if you're extroverted, you're social and you're positive, but you're impulsive and you can tilt towards hedonism and you can't stand being alone. People are built for a struggle and they're built for a weight and you want to take on a heavy burden voluntarily. See if you can put yourself together. See what you can do out in the world while you're waiting to die. It's an all-in game. It better be worthwhile. Fucking bet against me. Bet against me. Tell me it's not gonna happen. Tell me it's gonna fail. I love it. I love every minute of it. It's overcoming yourself at, at all costs, whatever that takes. To be at the point of your life where you don't care about being judged, you can be in a room of a million people and they all hate you, and you walk in and you go like this. Because, not because you're angry at them, because you know yourself, and you know that you've put yourself to hell to be where you're at today. You've walked the walk, you've talked the talk, and you've walked the walk. And that's, to me, what it's all about. We all have one thing in common. When everything we do is an opportunity to get better at the game of life itself. Whether we realize it or not, every interaction, each task is a reflection of your mindset values and future prospects. It's an opportunity to be the person you've always wanted to be. You don't have to have survived trauma or become a physical beast to train for life. We've all been challenged physically, emotionally, and intellectually, and we've all failed. It's so easy to be great nowadays because everybody else is, most people are weak. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. That's life, man. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. That's what people understand. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. Or something happens tragic in life, I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one, so I can handle what life is gonna throw at me. Because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. 
And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just gonna crumble. And you're good for nobody. Nobody teaches how to think, act, and move with disappointment, bad news, malfunction, and disaster inevitably strike. All the advice floods in only after we are already lying dazed on the canvas. Which means it's up to you to cultivate your own strategy and have the discipline to practice it. Mine is simple. No matter what life serves me, I say, Roger that. In some situations, thinking is the enemy. No matter what happens. The answer is always Roger. Now, scream it out loud. Tell them all that you heard what they had to say. And don't forget to smile. A smile that reminds them that you are most dangerous when you're cool. That is how you respond to a setback. It's the most efficient way to deal with adversity and come out clean. Take ownership of your life. Nobody can live your dream for you but you. Nobody's going to take care of your business like you. Stop coming up with excuses. Don't give yourself permission to continue to live a small life. You can't fit a big dream into a small life. Give yourself permission to go for it, to test yourself, to challenge yourself, to live full. To find out the reasons that you do what you do. Find out the reasons that will make you strong, that will make you walk by faith and not by sight, that will make you pursue your dream when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. And let me tell you something, that's a lonely feeling. It's a lonely feeling, particularly people that you're doing it for, or people that stand to benefit the most, or people who should be the number one members in the encouragement club, but they end up saying, you can't do it, and they become members of the discouragement club. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. Have people that you love close to you that look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? I said, but this is my life. I have got to do this. I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. There's something in you that tells you this is not it for you. You have not peaked here. There's more in you that you are expressing. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered the man, heart of mankind. What's in store for you if you challenge yourself, if you persist and persevere, if you take ownership for your life. You should push yourself beyond your limits of tolerance in your 20s to find out where it is. How much can you work? How disciplined can you become? Like, can you work 12 hours a day? Can you work eight hours a day? Can you work three hours a day? Like flat out. Where's your limit? And how much, how much work can you do and how much socialization? You should find out. Push yourself past and then back off to, to that point where it's optimally sustainable. It's good to think about that as a goal. It's like you're trying to discover what your limitations are when you're, when you're in your 20s so that you can hit that edge so that you can sustain yourself across the decades. And you want to push yourself in every direction that you can, but you should be doing that with an aim in mind. It's like you're trying to make yourself into a better and more competent person. Go for it. Just go for it. Believe me, I'm living proof that it can happen. Anything you do positive in your life and anything that's huge, it will immediately be surrounded by negativity. Manifesting is real. It's fucking real, man. When you figure out who you are and what you want to do, and you devote your life to it like a maniac, like you're all in on this thing, and you manifest, most of these people end up doing what they say they're going to do and being who they say they're going to become. It's real. It's these people who dive in and they're hardcore and they're focused and they know what they want, they know who they are. They lay out these short-term goals and this roadmap on how to get there. Create what you want. You have the power in you to do the more than you could ever begin to imagine. To control your destiny, to make a difference in our children, to make a difference on the planet, to make an impact. You can't go back once you started this damn journey. You can only go forward. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back until your mind will say, okay, we're gonna figure it out. Because he is not going to stop. It's not like I'm gonna try one more time. No, I'm gonna, it's just like alarm clock goes off, boop, we're going back. I can't read right, we're going back. I gave myself no way out, and my mind realized that. It's so, okay, we're gonna adapt and overcome now. If you're a fucking savage and you get out there and you grind hard and you want it bad enough, you can run all these guys over, man. When you get out of bed every morning, right, you get up out of bed, life is standing right there to kick you in the face. Ready, leg cocked, ready to go. 
to kick you in the face because every day when you get up, bad shit's coming at you. Forget about work, your personal life, everything. Car don't start, the this, the that. Life is ready to get you, you know? And you gotta get up and you gotta fight through that bullshit every day, you have to. You gotta fight through all the shit that life throws at you. Th then you get to a point where life's throwing a bunch of shit at you, now work's throwing a bunch of shit at you, you know, your, your business that you have to fight for every day. And you have to get up and you have to have that to get up and fight every day, man. If you're looking for fuck you money, you're in the wrong place already. You already know you're not in the right place. And at the end of the day, it's really about that you love what you're doing and it's about the journey. The people you're doing with it, that you're having fun, you're getting up every day and, and you're all working toward the same goal, whatever it might be. It's a very fulfilling feeling. Once you break out of that, you find what it is you truly love to do, it's really not work. It's, it's actually fun and you enjoy every day of your life. Nobody's ever going to do anything without trying. It's never the right time. It's never the right time. It's like, I can't now. I, 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 I got this truck I just bought. I got payments on this friggin' thing. You know, I, I got this. If you do that to yourself, you'll never do anything. Forget the truck. Forget this. Forget that. Go for it. Just go for it. Believe me, I'm living proof that it can happen.